Hello guys, welcome back to Ventilate. And guys, here we go again. Another Abyssal Tournament, another level 10 farm. That's how we do it, guys. And there I am at third place. So I was able to farm 80k, and I'm pretty sure I was in rank five to nine. And I decided, hey, you know what? Let's just push a little bit. I had a bit of extra time. And guess what? I was able to hit level 83,000, which makes me at position number three. So to be honest with you guys, for me to get number two and number one, it's almost not impossible, but you have to spend so many more hours. Uh, from 83 to 96, you literally have to spend double the time that it took for me to get to the 83,000. So is it worth it? No, not really. I, I couldn't care less, to be very honest with you. Because at the end of the day, as long as I get my farm at level 10, I am happy. All right, guys, hopefully you take advantage of the ultra egg drop, which is every two hours you get two extra eggs. That has helped improve a lot. And look at that, guys. Look at the amount of torches that I do have. And so hopefully this is making sense to you guys and how you can farm and to be able to farm this and just be amazing at it guys so hopefully you guys got a good win hopefully you guys have joined orca i i don't know what else i can tell you if you haven't seen it um i guess now you know all right and i was going to do a little bit of a reddit post and in which i break down what is going on so there will be quite a few changes coming uh, next week with the new patch and I think this is gonna be huge so good news for all of you guys that have had a lot of soft wall problems what I mean by soft wall is that you get to a certain stage and you just can't seem to crack the next stage level and that's actually quite common and that's what a lot of us had to battle through to get to 180,000 however I think they're trying to make it easier for people to be able to hit the, the um, soft wall and by giving you extra boost to get there. So what do I mean by that? Um, in actually, you know what? Let me let me pull up. Let me pull up Reddit. Hmm, I'm gonna see a bit of information on my phone. Hmm. Maybe next time. Look, look. The next one I'll do. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. In the next tournament, I will get Reddit prepared. And with the prepared Reddit, I will show you what it looks like in terms of the breakdown of what's going on so right now i'm just not ready guys i i don't know what i have in my page right now i might open up and it's going to be nsfw you never know i'm kidding guys no way um however with the new thing it that's coming true it is going to change things a lot i'm not 100 percent sure how good or how bad it will be but i believe that this is erring to the side of positivity because this way you don't have to farm like crazy you don't have to ask the, the right kind of questions to, to get to the right place you literally will be getting the best that you can and with that you're going to be able to come up to transcendence a lot faster which is going to be amazing which means the competition is going to be high in transcendence and that will be amazing so that's all for today guys i i'll conclude from here and i'll get a bit of a reddit information slash update coming up and yeah that, that's gonna be good and i just saw the announcement today and i was pretty excited for it so yeah keep it keep keep it up guys and just don't give up on farming your at make sure you always farm your abyssal tournament because that really helps boost you guys into the next stage where you need to be you know what guys since i'm already here just let me show you quickly what i do with these bad boys here okay 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 let me just go with that just gonna show you what happens in raids i, I don't think i covered any raids to be honest once you get it you get it and hopefully this is something that's gonna help you guys get to a position where it makes sense for you and makes it easy for you guys to figure out what's good and what's not good and to be honest i don't know what that little thing is called i forgot but the, the beehive thing is absolutely op so definitely upgrade that that's one of the main ones that i did upgrade and it it does some insane damage okay let's go 
gonna be 47 million that's that's actually pretty good guys i did expect 47 all right i'm gonna show you the strongest build that i do have which is this bad boy right here okay acid drench purifying blast totem of power crazy crazy combination let me show you look at that 180 4580 just like any other blast nothing crazy look at that 1.4 1.3 there should be a 2 million coming up soon and just yeah you go 1.9 it is all because i told them 3.8 and so if you want to know how to get these crazy ray damage this is one of the ways and by crazy i am not even close to crazy the guys out there doing way 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 more insane numbers than i do however this is one of the ways that they get it there you go 49 wow that's that's pretty good too so let's get to the next one okay what do we have where's my bad boy Ooh. yeah that that's a good one um uh, all right all right uh, but, 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 but. you know what let me get back to this one so this is my favorite I, I i don't see a lot of people using this particular um raid cards but this is one of my favorites uh, it just increases your damage like crazy so you're going to be able to use it for your clan and your clan is going to increase that damage for you when they use this card and if you look at that it just continues to build and build 290 311 319 345 that is just insane so every rocket that i'm shooting is about 400 now and i'm pretty sure it gets up to 500 if you hit two rockets that's one melee damage right there look at that easy melee damage another 46 mil this is actually a really really good run guys i'm not gonna cap that's pretty good and what i'm going to get next i want to use this bad boy and do splash i go with this yeah why not let's let's do this one okay bang bang there we go come on guys let's get rid of this armor and look at that oh it's pretty bad actually this is not good this is not looking great. I think this is gonna be the max, the max of 20 mil damage. I reckon. Yeah, that's not great, guys. I it's one of those tricky things where I'm still trying to figure out how to use this bad boy, but it, it does do some crazy damage. Um, yeah, I I, I screwed that one up pretty bad, guys. Um, that's not the nicest. Well, there you go, guys. I'm not perfect after all. Sorry. And let's see. Let's see. Here and now I need a damage card. What would be a good damage card? Let's see, is there anyone okay? So you gotta tinker around with things a little bit. 20 mil. Mm, yeah, nah. Should I mm, 20 mil, 20 mil? <sighs> okay, I'm gonna go with this bad boy. Right there. And there we go. Oh, there we go. Trigger. And I am going to get rid of that armor plus doing damage on the other one as well. No, actually, let's get rid of this first because the armor is going to be gone. Once it's gone, it's going to do a lot more damage. There we go. That's better. That's a lot better. That is a lot better. Okay, 30 mil. Ooh, look at that, baby. 50. That has become one of my stronger ones. Would you look at that? All right, and the chest. Okay, let me get rid of that thing. Mm, yep. Done. Watch this magic, boys and girls. Ooh, I'm loving it. 260 very nice 263 solid 
and the base damage at the back is 86 so i think this will come to 35 probably 35 40 mil let's see if i'm correct what do you guys think 35 40 45 nah i reckon about 35 to 40 mil by the looks of it all right four seconds to go three There you go, 35 to 40. Oh, I'm pretty much on board. So there you guys go. So that's how I do my raids. And let me show you my raid cards. Because I realize I haven't even showed you guys the raid cards. But I use this at times. And it's the strongest build. I never changed that. This never changes either. Um, that's a decent. This is another one that I do change at a time when it comes to the Affliction card. And that's very very solid for the head and this is decent I haven't got that great with it um, that's another one that you guys saw I use uh, no no not that so, uh, this build look guys I, I, I need to work on this uh, it's not great but yeah I, I've seen it done some pretty good damage but that's not the only one so this is another good build that's another this is solid absolutely solid so the way you want to use this especially with this particular card insanity void so the way it works is that it increases your damage based on a number of unarmored body parts so the more unarmored body parts there is the stronger this becomes and it stacks at the maximum of six parts so I mean, if six of it um, does not have any armor that's where you get your bonus from so make sure you use this because it is very 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 solid and definitely do not use it when you do have armor on alrighty guys that's it for me hopefully that's a bit helpful I'll show you a bit of my raid cards as well and I'll catch you with the next uh, tournament coming up tomorrow and I will definitely show you the breakdown on reddit on the new update that's about to come alright catch you guys later bye bye